Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott, and I'm happy that you're here. And today I'm really excited because I would like to show you my new book, Hands on Mobile App Testing, in the second edition. Maybe you have following me already on social media like Twitter or Facebook, and you have noticed that I'm currently worked or have worked on the second edition of my book, Hands on Mobile App Testing. And finally, as of today, you can get the book at LeanPub. So, what is the book all about, right? You may ask yourself if you're already the reader of the first edition. Well, the first edition was released in 2014 and it was eight years already on the market. Now, after eight years, you can imagine the mobile world has changed again. And this book is completely reworked with so many different topics. First of all, the first thing that I've done is I completely reworked all of the link sources because I noticed and also from your feedback that many of the sources, even the tools that I mentioned in the book, are not there yet anymore on the market. So the links are not working anymore. They're leading to 404 or anything like that. So I came up with a complete new idea of a proxy page. So I created a proxy page on my blog Adventures in QA. I make sure to link um, the, the link in the video description for you to follow up. And the idea is now that every chapter that contains a link, a link to an external source, I make a link to my book, uh, to my blog, to my blog landing page, to my book proxy page. From there, I link to the original source that I would like to mention in the book. With that technique, all of the links in the book stay valid and remain working, right? Because my blog will always be there. And I will make sure that all the link sources on my book proxy page are always up to date and fit to the corresponding topic in the book. So that was really great, right? So that's that's something you can already look for. On the other side, I completely worked the book, reworked the book from chapter one to the last one completely. I read through everything and I noticed that many of the things, especially in the test automation chapter five, was outdated. So I removed tools that are not available on the market and I extended again the chapter with new tools that are now on the market and the de facto standard in the mobile testing industry. I also reworked all of the images inside the book. So they looked kind of old fashioned, eight years old. So I completely reworked all of the images and I added more images to the book as well, which I think is a great addition to it. Other than that, I also added more sections to the different chapters. So for example, I wrote in more chapter or more section about uh, beta testing, how to introduce beta testing in your uh, testing life cycle, how to establish a beta community. I wrote about the mobile release trains that can be beneficial for you as a mobile tester or as a mobile testing team and so forth and so forth. So there are many, many things that I've changed in the new book and I think it's worth to take a look at. So let's take a brief look at the book and what it's all about and what to expect. So you can see that's the book cover. There is some information about the book. We have the content. So let's jump right into, for example, the chapter how to establish a beta testing community, which is completely new in chapter seven, right? So as you can see here, I wrote a lot of things about beta testing communities and launch strategies, about stage rollout, the release trains, and so forth and so forth. So this is really, really great. And I think it's really beneficial for all of you. What else can you expect from the book? Well, as I said, it's completely reworked. I did some re, um, recopying of all the of the, all the sentences, and I hope you like it. Um, you can find it on LeanPub uh, uh, on the following link. I would be happy to get some feedback from you. If you have any kind of questions, let me know. Looking forward to it. And if you would like to support me, as always, subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, or in best case, you get a latest copy of the book for you to read. Thank you and bye-bye.